Hi booktube, Lynette here and today's video I'm going to talk about my reading plans for the month of November. I'm feeling a bit mood reading again so I'm not necessarily going to have a full-on TBR. I'm maybe just going to talk about some books that I think I might want to read in the month. The only set book that I have for the month is the Cozy Book Co book club pick and this month we are reading I Capture the Castle by Dodie Smith. This is um, to fit uh, modern classics um, after our rather successful, and I say that with all sarcasm, successful uh, attempt at reading classics earlier in the year. We thought we'd give it another go, only this time something maybe a bit more modern. Uh, this is about Cassandra Mortmain, who lives with her bohemian and impoverished family in a crum crumbling castle. And it's about what happens when the American owners turn up and reclaim the castle for themselves. So, I'm looking forward to reading this. Um, it sounds quite intriguing. Um, there's a little bit of romance, I think, in this, which, as we all know, is definitely uh, in my reading bag. Um, so, yeah, so I'm looking forward to reading this with the ladies and seeing how we get on and seeing what we all think. Will, will this be far more successful than our attempt earlier on in the year? The rest of my reading month is going to be based around a readathon that is happening the first weekend in November. The readathon is being run by Steph over at Steph Loves. Um, Steph has explained to us many times on her channel that she has a problem with finishing series. So at the beginning of last year, she set up a readathon called the Final Book Support Group. And every other month or so, she does. She tries to do it roughly six times a year. Um, she will run a round of it. November is going to be the last round for 2023. She's running it, like I say, over the first weekend in November. Um, so that is the weekend after this video has gone up. And she, I will put a link to her announcement video down below. She's given some prompts if you want to follow them. They're there if you want to do them. You don't have to. The aim is just to either finish or continue series that you have already started. Um, if you don't have any series to finish, then that's not an issue at all. By all means, go ahead and continue series that you've already started. If you don't have any series in progress or if you don't have access to the, the next books that you need to read, then why not go ahead and start a series and see if you can make progress in it um, with a new one. Um, it's not meant to encourage you to start a series, but hey, if that's where you are, then that's where you are. For me, um, a weekend isn't enough. Uh, I can read more than one book in a weekend if I sit down and put my mind to it. But that weekend, um, I'm not home for most of the Saturday, so I won't be around for about half of the readathon, um, because then I also work on the Friday and the Monday. So it doesn't always actually work out that well for me. So what I do is I turn the whole month of um, the readathon into a month long, because I have a lot of books in series that I need to get to, and I have quite a few on my Kindle, I have quite a few on my shelves, so I'm going to prioritise books in series for the whole of November. The one that I've specifically picked out to try and tackle um, by hopefully by the end of the first weekend uh, of November is Dreams of Gods and Monsters by Lainey Taylor. And the reason I want to prioritise this one is because it is the final book in a series. So I want to try and finish this series. I read uh, Days of Blood and Starlight a couple of months ago and I really enjoyed it, Re was reminded why, um, although I don't feel that these have the prose and the uh, quality quite of the um, Stranger Dreamer duology, uh, this is still a fantastic um, book. I do really enjoy Lenny Taylor's writing. And I want to get to the end of the series. I want to see where this goes from the end of book two. Can't really talk about what happened before, but it is about um, an angel and a demon who fell in love and the fallout from that. Um, and yeah, uh, really intrigued by it. I've been thinking I need to get to it since I finished book two. Um, and I'm looking forward to picking it up very early in November, hopefully to have finished 
before the first week of November is out at the very earliest. Another series that will be brought up to date rather than completed um, is the Dragon Fury Scottish Highland Dragons series written by Corinne Callahan. Her most recent update um, or instalment rather in this series came out earlier this year and that is Fury of Misfortune. It's book seven. Um, like I say, it is the latest instalment. So it Although it's not finishing the series, it is bringing it up to date and I can mark it as finished for now um, on my list and I will be more than happy with that. So definitely going to read this one. This series is about a group of male dragon shifters who are looking for their true mate um, and it's about how they come across them, mostly accidentally um, in this case and how where it goes from there because they all all the mates are human women so they all have to be introduced to the fact that there are dragon shifters in the human world and that um there is magic and that there is danger and that there is a lot to get to grips with in this world um so i'm really looking forward to it i've thoroughly enjoyed corinne callahan's writing she is one of the few um, long running series authors uh, that I have actually kept up with, um, that I started many, many years ago. I've actually kept up with, I followed her on social media. Um, I'm quite eager to read her books when they come out. It's just that I had a slight delay with this one because of other things I was trying to read and I just didn't get to it at the time that it released. But it's another one that I want to prioritise for the month of November. After that, I want to look at continuing series if I can. One of those series is one that I've had on my middle grade shelves. I own the full set, um, so I, there's no excuse for me to be behind with them because I've got them all. They've been out for a while, it's been finished for a while, and you know what, if I can whip through this next book, I might actually finish this one in this month as well, but I'm only gonna put one on this TBR for now. And that book is Dragon Rising by Katie and Kevin Sang. This is a middle grade series about a group of youngsters who um, have uh, dragons and they're dragon riders and they go on all these adventures in dragon lands. They are trying to stop an evil dragon from overtaking the world, uh, the human world, as well as the dragon worlds. Um, and they're just good fun. Uh, they are for more for the younger age range of 9 to 12 of middle grade. I would say they're more kind of like the 9 to 10 rather than the 11 to 12 year, year range. But I've enjoyed the previous three books um, in this series and I'm looking forward to continuing it so that I can continue recommending it to my nephew to make him get on and read it because he does have the first book in the series, he just hasn't got to it yet. The next couple of books are carryovers from the month of October. At the point of filming this, October isn't quite over yet, as you'll know, because this video has gone up on the 30th of October. Um, I am about halfway through Moving Pictures by Terry Pratchett, which is the 10th or 11th instalment. I can't quite remember now where I am um, of the Discworld series. It was uh, I'm reading them all in publication order. Um, I'm most of the way through it, however I don't think I'm going to finish it before the end of the month. Uh, it's highly unlikely, I've got a couple of other books that I want to prioritise ahead of it. Um, so it will probably be carried forward over into October and again if I can I'm going to try and read Reaper Man as well. Uh, which is the next book in the publication order. Um, I've spoken about the Terry Pratchett Discworld series before many times. I've said that I'm trying to work my way through these books in publication order. I can't remember which ones I've read and which ones I haven't. There are some that I very clearly know I've read. I've read all of uh, the Death books, so I know I've read Reaper Man before. Um, and I've read all of the Night Watch books. Um, and I've read most of the University books. Um, but... Uh, there's a lot of the other ones. So Moving Pictures is one I thought I'd read. I don't actually recognise any of the story. Um, but yeah, I, I want to try and make progress with those two. And then the other pull forward from October is the um, instalment from the Temperance Brennan series by Kathy Brikes, and that is Crossbones. 
This series um, is about a woman called Temperance Brennan. She is a forensic anthropologist, um, but she does, uh, she works for Canadian and American law enforcement agencies, helping to identify causes of death um, and age of bones um, and other factors that may determine the identification of a body. Uh, when it's got to the stage that its remains no longer mean that an actual person looking at the body and identifying them isn't possible. Um, they're quite interesting because Kathy Reichs is a forensic anthropologist herself, so her knowledge around that um, is very, very uh, strong. These books, um, the ones that I'm reading, were written in the early 2000s at this point, and we're starting to see a lot more coming into it of internet usage and there's some referrals to some the last book that I read um actually when I was reading it uh it touched on a topic that is very much um something that's discussed uh these days and and people's right to live the way they want to live so yeah crossbones like I say that is the next installment in that series that I want to get to and then one final crossover from October um, and something that I want to do before the end of the year is to read Atalanta by Jennifer Saint. Now, this isn't strictly in a series. Um, it's not a series. They're standalone novels. Uh, it's about Atalanta, who was the only female member of the Argonauts. Um, she is the daughter of the King of Arcadia. Um, and uh yeah so she's trying to find her place amongst the famed heroes of greece um i have enjoyed i've said it before i've enjoyed uh jennifer saint's previous works because i like how she makes these myth retellings feel accessible to people who have no knowledge um because she does do a lot of research um and she does try to keep the the facts and build the story around the facts um, and and stick to those facts instead of trying to weave a fiction telling um out of some bare bones facts she tries to retell the story um in an accessible way for the likes of me basically as i said i've got a lot of books in series on my shelves i have a lot of series to start i have um series in progress you can see behind me here um, I, I've got the uh, original trilogy by Joe Abercrombie um, and I still haven't finished Before They Are Hanged at the point that I'm filming this. Um, I've got my, you can just see down the tops of them down here, I've got my um, Robert Jordan series, Eye of the World, Wheel of Time series that I'm still ploughing my way through. Um, and I just have lots and lots of series that I just need to make some progress with. I have, you know, the next instalments on my Kindle for some of them. And November is just going to be a priority for those for me. <clears throat> so what are you planning on doing for November? Do you have any plans? Are you taking part in the final book support group? Do you follow Steph? Um, are you going to take part? If you don't follow Steph, is this the first time you're hearing about it? Are you going to take part with us? I know this is a problem for many of us with series. Please leave uh, comments down below. I will get back to you. I try to reply to them all. Um, if you have enjoyed this video then please do give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed already and you've enjoyed this video then please subscribe to see more from me in your feed um i'm still not committing to when my next videos are going up but i am trying to make videos regularly again so i look forward to seeing you all in my next one bye